earth by living in your sacred heart. Quantum Conversations is brought to you by AcousticHealth.com, home of music from the universe, online healing retreats, and this program. Claim your free registration to daily shows at AcousticHealth.com. AcousticHealth.com, your portal to the inner realms. Our program starts shortly. Welcome to another Quantum Conversation, brought to you by AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and I invite you to sit back as we enter the Quantum Realm, that space of the greater part of you. It is your connection to infinite possibilities, infinite potential, and infinite mastery. Welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining us in this space of the sacred heart we are here raising our vibration as we gather in this space today we are talking about embodiment this higher self connection this way we move forward creating new earth and new earth as we know is a frequency and it is a frequency of peace and love that each of us bring forward. This is truly our higher self embodiment in expression. My guest today is a psychic angelic channeler who channels Gabriel. We are here for a beautiful session as Peter Hansen will be sharing with us messages and also taking your questions and calls. Let's welcome Peter Hansen to Quantum Conversations. Hello, Peter. Welcome. Hi, Lauren. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here and, and meet your group. And then this is just perfect timing, I feel like, uh, with everything going on in the world. Absolutely. With everything going on in the world, it certainly is a time to tune in so deeply within ourselves the answers to our questions, the alleviations of fears. This is really this inward connection. So as we start, we're going to learn about your journey. First, I want to touch in with you with your messages from on high and your own higher self. Can you give us a feeling of where we are in this ascension process right now on our planet? Absolutely. Let me just tune in and see what the I'm getting here. It's really about life beyond the physical body, how to live and be and operate from frequency and vibration. That's what we're coming into now, uh, gaining access to the the forgotten, the the memories, the abilities, the you know, the value systems, the how we, we live from our heart uh, and not from our minds any longer. And, and that's what's going on right now in the collective. is like it, it's happening in phases, uh, you know, individually, uh, but also like in, in, in groups, so to speak, and, and even locations. It's like there could be a, a big, you know, a whole country, a whole state that could be, you know, uh, you can say targeted, but all be supported, you know, with ascension codes just for a week, and then it moves on to a different part, like whatever is needed, wherever, you know, and whenever, you know, is needed. So um, I feel like that's on a, on a mass scale right now. Globally, it's happening, and there's no turning back. It's just unfolding uh, more and more rapidly, and it's, it's really fun to, as doing what we're doing, you know, uh, experiencing what we've been preparing for, we've been working, you know, towards for so long um, and be a part of it, you know, and really seeing it's happening on a mass scale. It's just, it's, it's life changing, it's beautiful and it's really seeing and giving that faith and trust and unconditional love and knowing uh, heart-centered consciousness coming back, you know, like you're just seeing it, you're feeling it and that's just so expansive. It's, it's amazing. Yes, yes, very good. And so yet at this time, 
It is also pretty tender. And what we're learning when we really study the evolution of consciousness and this um, this expansion of consciousness, this living from the heart, it truly is the transcendence of judgment or the end of judgment. Mm. Can you comment on how the, and, and this is tricky because for most humans, when we walk around and look at the world, we have a judgment on everything. And so what would you say the best practice or attitude or alignment would be to rise above the judgment? What would that be like for someone? It is an inner journey, so it's important to remember not comparing yourself to anyone else. But it really, like you just mentioned, uh, I got it because I know what you mean. It's really about you reach a point where you have to let go of that humanness, that limited consciousness where it's it's based on a limited uh, source of communication, uh, but also consciousness where it's, it's based on, on right and wrong and judging and... It's like there is a right and wrong, there is a light and a dark. So you have to transcend that, and to transcend that, you actually have to join the light. You have to be the light. You have to vibrate it. So you you move on beyond that checklist. You know the human creates or the the can't even comprehend. You know because you have to go beyond that. So you start to vibrate it and being it at all times. There's a new world. You're holding the light. You're being the light. You're communicating in the light, and you. There's a polar shift happening within where you, you know, you don't have that regular nine-to-five kind of thing. Like, you take one day at a time. Some, something comes up, you're in alignment with it already because you don't have any uh, preconceived notions or any expectations or any blocks telling you it have to be in a certain order necessarily. So you're allowing yourself to be in that flow of creation, and that it's so challenging for the human uh, and that whole matrix system and that whole conditioning uh, that was, you know, we all lived in for so long. Uh, so it's really, it's, it's a very freeing place to be too because there's not all these things you have to keep track of. You actually, it's like being in meditation state. It's, it's, the vibration is so pure. It's just still, you're in zero point energy. You're in the present moment awareness. And it's just like, it's hard for, let's say, you know, a human and an awakening to be in the same space because it's, it's polar opposite. It's going to be challenging for the human, not for the awakened, because the awakened is, is you know, have a different value system, is much more flowing and, and don't have those attachments to things to be a certain way. And that, again, is something the human mind can't comprehend, so it's, it's really hard to put into words. It's something that has to be experienced. And the only way to experience that is by uh, reaching that vibration and honoring it keeping it, uh, protecting it, so to speak, uh, by being the great, great keeper or, or gatekeeper, that you focus on your vibration all the time. You don't focus so much on the daily tasks or whatever it is, you know, it's like you just focus on the vibration and then whatever direction you go, you know, you are in a vibration to receive whatever it is, so you start to manifest instantly, you're always supported, you're living in abundance, it's like, it's the, really that is the magical realm and, uh, realm and, and that's really hard to, again, to explain in words, but that's the bigger picture, you know? Beautiful. Keeping the vibration, protecting the vibration, being immaculately aware of the vibration to really focus on it. So that is, if anything comes to shake us out of it, what do you do? What is the work that's required when we become aware that we are now taken out of this vibration? Well, uh, as the ascension happens, as we awaken, uh, you know, we're clearing ourselves from any toxic, any heavy uh, old programming, any uh, any dense energy, so to speak. So little by little, we, we shift the, you know, we're being empowered by the challenges. We're being empowered by the task at hand. So instead of being, feeling like that's being a setback, we're shifting that into empowerment. Each time we do that, we're shifting that into light. We're transmuting it into light. So we're growing a little bit every time and getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And it, it becomes less and less uh, of a hold on you because you become lighter and lighter. And you're holding it, you're knowing it, you're trusting it, you're being it. So we are kind of transcending uh, out of the physical body uh, more and more, uh, learning to live multidimensional and not just in the physical 
Um, so depending where you're at in the early stages, you know, you do need boundaries. You need to look at everything from a different perspective, flip the coin. Instead of, you know, uh, create a block or as a setback, then you actually look at it, no, what am I, what is my opportunity for growth here? And knowing, trusting that everything is happening for you. Uh, the human aspect, the human part of ourselves have a really hard time doing that at first. So is that conditioning, is the, you have to reprogram yourself and deprogram the old, so daily mantras, you have to tell yourself, I am unconditional life, I am my higher self, I am, you know, everything that is, and everything that is is me, I am Christ consciousness, and on and on and on. So everything that uh, supports uh, your flow and you going forward, uh, which is another very important part of it, is that you keep moving forward with that trust and faith in your heart without fully knowing what that's going to look like, but you it feels right. And you don't need to look back. You don't need to have a foot in both camps. It's just allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to um, to jump, in a sense, you know, or, or step into the new. That's a big one. Mm-hmm. Yes, stepping into the new. Okay, we're really feeling that. And just seeing that it it really is steering our consciousness in a really positive way. And I love looking at everything from a different perspective. And so when we do that, is that what you mean by living multidimensionality? Because we are multidimensional beings. So what do you mean when you say live multidimensionally? You activate all your different bodies, your astral body, your angelic body, your light body, your galactic body, your, your physical, all of them, but you activate them and you bring them all into oneness. So you you uh, take those aspects back. You start to embody them fully again. So they're not separate. At first they are. And so you learn to gain access to them vibrationally. And by you mastering them one by one, at one stage, uh, then you are vibrating, you're mastering that frequency, and then you move on to the next one. And it's like you're taking all your tools back in your tool belt, in a sense, or you bringing all your, um, yeah, you could say minions, but it's not minions. <laughs> it's really aspects of you coming back into you, so you're coming into that full uh, oneness where there's no separation. You don't look at the world as being separate from you, even other people, other souls. It's like it's another version of you having a different experience. This is your universe. You are the writer. You are the director. You are the main actor or actress. Individually, each one of us. So it's important that we have that bigger perspective uh, and that's really hard to wrap your head around and comprehend for the human. So that takes a lot of uh, practice, you know. But the more you do, the easier it becomes and you just, uh, you know, transcend or you let go of that need to, to know what's next or allowing those old programs to affect you in, in any way, shape or form. You're leaving the old earth behind um, and that leads you into that new beginning and you're becoming the master again. Uh, being a service all the time because you are the one dictating the vibrations and the frequencies. Whatever you send out, you will see it on the on the movie screen, so to speak, um, in front of you because it's going to be reflected. Um, and that's very, uh, at first as well, it's very uh, big one to swallow, a hard one to swallow because um, it's easy to just point fingers and say, oh, well, that person needs to work on himself and that, da 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 you know, like, it's so easy just to point fingers and push it away, but you reach a point where that doesn't work any longer for you and you see that that's just self-sabotage. You have to shift that. You have to shift those frequencies, shift the flow of how everything operates from, you know, being a product of the environment into you being the creator and you sending out these frequencies. And that's when you uh, firsthand learn and feel how powerful you are because if you you know, give that power away or if, if you fall into old pattern or something, you know, you feel it instantly. So it's like, it's all about vibration. Hold that vibration, monitor it and balance it on a daily basis and harmonizing it, but also uh, communicate with, with like-minded souls or anything that's supporting you where you're going because uh, there's no need to go back, you know what I mean? Just continue to move forward. Moving forward, marching forward into new earth. I love it. And and I love letting go of the need to know what is next. Because mm-hmm. if we are aligned in this vibration and we are focused on it, we are in the flow and we are shifting the frequency. 
And so as we were talking earlier about, you know, you were saying, you know, we're not here pointing fingers or pushing things away. That really is seeing things from a fifth dimensional perspective when we truly understand that we are creating everything with our vibration and that what we created is that exactly what we needed to experience in order to evolve in consciousness. So that is beautiful. And I really love how you say to really allow for this space and to be in service all the time. So there's some who really want to be in service. That's really a, a deep calling of the heart. What does service mean to you? Well, you are embodying your being. So being at service is that you are the student and you are the, the teacher. You know, you're shifting in. That's why many of us at some point will become the teacher because, you know, we need to, for us to uh, see ourselves healed and, and healing and holding and mastering these frequencies is very helpful to allow ourselves to self-reflect by telling others how to do it wherever they're at and what they're going through or we were going through at one point. That allows us to step up and uh, own it more, you know. So that's really the bottom line. That, but being at service is really like it's become something you you, you are, you know. It's not just something you do. You, it's just all the time. You You're honoring the frequency, the unity consciousness, all aspects unite and and activate. So whatever you do, you don't just jump into the conditioned mind and say, oh, well, it should be this way based on on past experiences or conditioning. You would never do that. You come in from the vibration. It's like looking at it from the bigger perspective is that, is this going to help the whole? Am I sending out a frequency that's empowering, that's expansive, or am I going backwards? You know, like, so you learn to monitor yourself and then the it becomes easier and easier because there's less and less uh, conditioning involved in the, so there's less and less to keep track of. And that's why so many humans, I mean humans, you know, like get so confused and lost because there's so much going on, you know, like it's just trying to fit in in this ocean of, of possibilities of, you know, um, it, it's really like the free will is, is really not suiting you. Uh, we think we've got free will, but it actually gets in the way. Because, you know, you're getting away from the flow and the, um, your soul's contract and the divine plan that was already made. We think we got free will and that actually slows it down. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. Our need to control in a way, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you, we can tell by listening to you uh, that you are awakened and actually are ascended and this is a journey that we're all on so share a little bit about this because it's as if if when we get to the point of healing ourselves from these old patterns which many of us are giving a beautiful opportunity in the past year up until this point really to continue to heal ourselves what was your journey like here you channel Archangel Gabriel and you're very aware. What was your awakening journey like? It was long, and it was very human <laughs> for a long time. Uh, and there was some big four by four. There was some big shift happening throughout my life that just to uh, you know make me go in a different direction where uh, mm -hmm. I don't feel I was, you know it's not because I was a victim, nothing like that. It was just like I chose a different route. I chose to start early. But then it stretched out over many years, and for a long time, you felt very alone. You felt, you know, there was no support. You know, it was not till later on that making big shifts and big moves, and you basically had to move from wherever you grew up or wherever you lived for a long time, to allowing yourself to expand and grow uh, and be seen uh, as that higher new version of yourself continuously as you shift from stage to stage. It's like dimensional shifts. Uh, you're shifting one vibration to another vibration. Otherwise, if you stay around, I mean, not saying that not possible, but it's just harder that way. Your surroundings will remind you of it, you know, and, and they will keep you, you know, hold you back in a sense, you know. So allowing yourself to go with that flow, whatever that means. If that means move, if that means, you know, going to a different country, whatever that means, uh, allow yourself and trust that, you know, uh, this is your calling. Um, that 
that's what happened for me. You know, I was living in Denmark for 25 years, and I did have a near-death experience in Denmark, and that was absolutely uh, accelerating my into this path. And I moved to the United States uh, a couple of years after that to California first. And it was really like I had to start a brand new life from the ground up, a new foundation, uh, and that allowed me mm. to apply all that knowledge that happened in this experience, but also from all the views I had that I didn't have answers to where I came from, that now they popped up here and there, and there was support. There was, uh, there was a, I guess, a, a library for me to uh, study, in a sense, you know. It was just, I had to find it. It was not, never given to me. I had to search. I had to con- continue to follow that, that, just in that spark of, of curiosity at all the times, you know, and following through with it. And sometimes it took a little longer because there is that human, you know, you are living in a human world and then you, you want to fit in and you family go on and on and on, you know, like monetary mm-hmm. system, uh, materialistic systems, all that you're trying to fit into. So you're trying to balance that for a while. I was, um, but there is a point where you're like, you know, you have to surrender. You have to let go and, and shift your, vib- your vibration and your frequency and your and your value systems, your priorities. What is the most important right now moving forward? Am I just going to paddle around here in, in, in this little lake or am I actually going to go out on the, the big adventure, you know? And um, that was an easy decision to make um, because, you know, it felt right. And it's like I knew there was so much more out there. I didn't know what it looked like yet. Uh, but I, I remember years back, vision boards and um, just wishing things being a certain way and pretty much all of it, and maybe a little differently, but everything manifested because it was like I was seeing into the future. I, I was longing for it because I knew it was there already deep down. Um, and the, the closer you get to that, living from that place and be it and fueled by it, and living in that amazement and love, uh, light, and grace, fully embodied, it's, it's just, it's, uh, you can't really put that into words. It, it's just, that is our ascension journey, that is the awakening, that is what we're all going through now, and we have really nothing to compare to in the past, right. in the recent past, you know, so, uh, and that's the thing, it's like we are seeing it in a very different way than ever before, and um, being a forerunner or teacher, whatever you want to call it, you know, uh, early awakener, you know, that nobody is more important than anyone else. We all exactly where we need to be. I chose in this one, you chose to this one, you know, be a part of the shift, a part of the change, a part of the, you know, the bridge and, and allowing ourselves to be at service, you know, and, and that in itself, it's, it's, uh, that is being at service to me. That's like, I'm assisting, I'm doing what I came here to do. Uh, and when mm-hmm. you do that, then you are connected to source energy. You're connected to the light, to why you're here. Not somebody job, some company and monetary, you know, making money or anything like that. In nothing. It's like it's beyond that. It's like you're honoring the divine uh, by being it and, 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 you know, being a service to it. Yes, beautiful. And isn't it lovely that it's all in joy? It all comes with this vibration of joy, peace, and harmony. It's so spectacular, and it really is quite beautiful. Okay, I've got a couple of questions for you from what you just said there. Let's go back to your near-death experience, because as we know, a near-death experience takes you into other abilities, an awareness can you share what your near-death experience was like for you? Yes. Uh, in a sense, um, from a human perspective, it was almost, it was like death of the old. It was like I was mm-hmm. done and I felt like I reached the wall. I reached, you know, subconsciously knowing that this was not leading in the right direction. I was not in control of, of the accident itself. Um, I, you know, you know, physically in that moment, but energetically, and I know everything was happening the way it was supposed to. I do have uh, visions of me being separated from a light body. I mean, I actually was connected with the silver lining, so I saw that, but it was never fully 
there was a tether, you know, so like it was connected to that. And I saw that. I saw that being out of my light body, being out and coming back in. I had the elevator experience I mentioned before, and, and not in this podcast, but in you know, others um, where I, in the hospital, was in a coma for 10 days, and I had two white angels taking me up uh, in, in this elevator, and we went up, and the doors are open, and all this immense light came in, but it stopped right there. The doors closed again, and we went down again. So it was not it was not time for me to go. I just needed to see it. Uh, a reference mm-hmm. I felt, uh, so, and then came right back down and I woke up of that coma, uh, a couple of days after that, um, actually because I was, uh, sedated as well. So I, I had some memories from that, you know, like a couple of days after that. Um, but then I was like, I was so happy. I was high vibrating and I was ready to do anything. But it was like people looking at me like, you were supposed to be sick. <laughs> I feel like crap, you know, and cause that's the, the human conception, you know, or belief system is that, okay, you've been through something bad. You should be feeling bad, you know, like, but I didn't. And I, I started to believe them at first. Uh, so that was a little shocker too, you know, like, because you, you are vibrationally and, and conditioned into, you know, listening to you, the elders or, or, you know, the friends and family or the doctors, you know, like you were supposed to feel a certain way. So I did have a short little uh, setback. I felt, you know, very monetary, very little for I don't know, three or five months or something, I think, where you felt a little um, out of it, a little in the void space, a little depressed about it because it was like I was not honoring, you know what I mean? So I was, I found my footing again. as like, this is not where I want to hang out. I, I meant for more, you know, I want that energy. I want that experience I had. And I went to the other side and I had to, you know, leave to experience that. I had to move from my old environment. Um, so I did. And, uh, and that allowed me to start over from a brand new, uh, turning a new page and starting a new life um, and tapping into that light, tapping into that pure creation code uh, within me. Um, and that was, that was life changing, you know, and that's really like you're taking the power back. You are... Um, not being conditioned, you're not allowing the environment to dictate you, uh, that environment, you know, then you move into another one and then you have to work your way out of that one, you know, so little by little you, you go higher and higher. Wow. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. So then, so the, the, that experience with you, um, and feeling great, that's your truth, that was your inner truth, and there's something that happened there with that healing, there was a healing then that took place, and on a, on a deeper level, right, it, it made you look at your life and make a change, and you moved to California, and that's a big, bold move in creating a brand new life and a new foundation. When did you start your connection with Archangel Gabriel? It started with my accident, uh, but then in California with this the West Coast uh, by the ocean, there was a lot of similarities to that, and I was feeling a lot of uh, uh, connection, um, and it became more and more clear to me as I was doing more and more deeper, deeper spiritual work uh, for myself, uh, past life depressions, I was studying, I was meditating, I had visions, so I, I I saw and I saw that connection. I saw that connection between us, and it started that energy to flow through me. And as I know now, which I didn't know at that point, was that it is an aspect of me. Uh, I am Gabriel. I am Jesus. I am uh, Sir Lancelot at a, in a different body, so to speak, in a different time. It's the frequency. It's the collective consciousness. When you learn to vibrate it and tune your frequency into it, and you learn to master it, then you are everything that is. So there's nothing that's separate from you. You are part of me. I'm a part of you. So it's like when you see the world as being fully united, then you, you bypass all that separation and all that uh, old programming. Uh, and that's, it, it takes practice. It takes time. It's, it did for me at least, you know. And I know now uh, those ascension timelines are accelerating. So people, you know, who are going through it today, I, I'm not necessarily going to, they won't actually, they won't, it won't take them as long because they, they chose a different route, much more abrupt and much more, 
uh, fast ascension journey. Uh, some bodies will be able to hold it or, or you know, transcend with it and, and work with it, and some won't. Uh, and that's just the, the name of the game, so to speak, if that makes sense. Yes, okay, well, uh, learning to vibrate it and activating all of our bodies. Maybe you could lead us through a process here to feel what that would be like to work and activate all of our bodies, or maybe just a few or one, or even just learning to vibrate more in the light. Is that something that you could lead us on in a moment? Like doing a small healing, or do you want to do... What are you thinking? Ooh, a small healing or guided. would be beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. A small Basically healing. Basically, what be... it is and what I do with clients, you know, we usually do some talk therapy first, because it's really about the programming, the stories we're telling ourselves. It's just like learning to set boundaries, but also learning to honor and uh, love yourself, you know, letting go of any kind of, you know, shields or any, any old programming that's that's separating you from doing that, from honoring that and, and from always choosing that, you know, like, so mm -hmm. getting to the bottom of that uh, is, the, is the most important. And like we talked about earlier, it's all about vibration. So anything that takes you out of that vibration, if you're not honoring, if you're performing a task that's actually lowering your vibration, you've got to stop it or figure out another way to do it where it's empowering you. That's why it's such a uh, important part, uh, elemental part of the awakening journey is that what we tell ourselves and what we do, the choices we make and the boundaries we're putting up uh, to protect it, you know, from doing again because we, we're shifting from one dense energy, a third dimensional body into a fifth dimensional and higher and it's polar opposite. So we cannot think, bring those belief systems of that old consciousness with us. We have to let it go. So shifting the belief allowing ourselves to make that separation within um, by loving the old self, knowing it went through what it went through and it did exactly what it was supposed to to bring you to where you're at now, but now it's time to say goodbye and fully step in to be the original blueprint you, your higher self, the higher vibrational self, uh, being that light, um, us all coming together again uh, within. So um, should I do a little uh, sound healing? Are you up for that? Yes, that would be beautiful. Thank you. I just felt like I needed to talk into that a little bit so we, we had the intention. So mm -hmm. uh, anyone listening, if you want to close your eyes and just relax and feel yourself, um, if you're laying down, then feel your back, leaning into Mother Earth and feeling the vibration, allowing yourself to let go of anything you might have picked up, anything that um, doesn't serve you any longer. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of drumming, and it's going to break up those frequencies around you. And I'm going to have Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael be there with you and clearing the space. And if you're listening here, I take it as you, uh, I, as I have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self. And I'm going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not of the light around you, and your energetic field, and assist us in this vibrational healing and uh, with that toxic energy go so it's it's a release so just take a deep breath and inhale in the light inhale in divine light and when you exhale exhale out anything that doesn't serve you any longer close your eyes and call in the angels of light all around you
eyes closed, let any thoughts go. Now, Archangel Gabriel, to be a guide in this guided meditation. Breathe there. And open up to the frequencies. Things will be cut any cords from your crown chakra, from your third eye, from your throat chakra, from your heart chakra, from your solar plexus, from your sacral chakra, and from your root chakra. And the same in the back, and closing your grounding cords, putting down new grounding cords from your root chakra, and from your heart chakra, and to Mother Earth, and to the crystalline grid. Now, I want to fully anger in. Focus your gaze on your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Continue to quiet yourself and start moving into the higher dimensions. So they all start spinning in the same direction, the same frequency, aligning them all, activating them all, synchronizing them all, starting with the crown chakra, spinning it clockwise. It's very purple light, purple frequency, um, just for that one individually, but it's coming into this golden light where they're all coming into your light body and all vibrating as one when I'm done. You're starting with the crown chakra, spinning it faster and faster, allowing it to reach this perfect pitch, uh, frequency and energy, where it's a pure tone, the 528 and higher, fifth dimensional energies, like an instrument, which is fine tuning it, releasing any old separation, any distorted frequencies, allowing it to be this pure, perfect, pure tone, allowing perfect connection, allowing you to channel in divine light through your crown chakra. Now going down into your third eye. It's a darker blue frequency and energy. But also activating, synchronizing, aligning the frequency, the golden light, the Christ consciousness, the fifth dimensional energy is your divine soul imprint, your higher self. Spinning it, same frequency, same speed as the higher chakra. So it's spinning it, it's one chakra now. Coming into the throat chakra. Spinning that faster and faster, allowing it to catch up with the higher chakras. Aligning them, activating, synchronizing them. Feeding this energy in, channeling it in, activating it. And you cell in your body. Activating the twelve strength DNA. Four to six chromosomes, the thirty three petals of your soul, the white lotus opening up, coming into your heart chakra. This is a pink light. The big rose opening up, the white lotus, 
and allowing that to expand beyond your physical body as you as you know it, activating your divine masculine feminine, vibrating in synchronicity as one, creating a divine union within your heart, perfectly balanced with giving and receiving the masculine the feminine. Coming into your, your lower heart, which is more of an emerald green, we just came from the high heart. Into the lower heart part of it, coming in from there into the solar plexus as well. Also spinning that in the same direction as all the higher chakras, allowing them to be fully activated. Solar plexus is like between it's, it's yellowish light. Now this golden light to activate the light body within all the chakras as it's been faster and faster. Now coming into the orange light, the tiger's eye, sacral chakra, activating it, spinning it faster and faster, allowing it to heal the ancestral lines in the child. And coming down to the root chakra and smaller red and connecting fully into the crystalline grid as well. So now all your chakras are spinning in the same direction as one light body, as one big chronic tube, as one big crystal. The same frequency. Allowing you to activate the multidimensional self. There's no separation. Allowing the energy to be channeled through you and Filling up your cup and invigorating you. It's never going to run out because that is the divine light within you being held in your heart. Oh, it's in the heart. You're fully activating, you're fully reaching the zero point energy, feeling that quietness, that stillness. Everything is complete, everything is perfect. But being in the mother's womb, you are the center of the universe. This is your movie. This is your universe. This is your soul's experience. So nobody has that control of you unless you give it to them when you're now taking that back. Living in this higher consciousness, this higher frequency of unity, and love and light. Those who are on our phone, 
uh, or listening to this podcast, if you jump on our webpage, AcousticHealth.com, and you see today's show, you can join by phone, and we can unmute you when you hit star two. That'll allow you to raise your hand. Peter will be asking or answering questions if you've got them. It's a beautiful thing to see him work with his higher self and you. All right, here we go. Thank you for that, Peter. You're welcome. Let's go to... It's Linda in Fond du Lac. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, Linda. Hi. Nice to talk to you both. It's great. I really enjoyed the um, meditation. Even though I'm driving, I couldn't protect it. But when you hit the bowls, it was, like, really cool. So what frequency are those bowls at? Well, the one I used here was the hot chakra one, so it's 528. 528, okay, the miracle one, right, okay. Yes, Great. angelic, a miracle, yes. Um, I Do you guess have any that's questions for us? No, no, unless you want to tell me something. Do you see well, something, you let me know. Well, specific question. Um, is there anything yeah. going? Is everything in your life perfect? Is there something like a specific question you want to answer for? Because oh, it's really it's I a broad question. Go ahead. Okay. Um, lately, like the last two days, I don't know what happened to the energy, but it shifted, and I could feel the shift. And so I haven't been feeling the greatest the last two days. So what exactly is happening with that? Okay. Let me just, uh, do I have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes, sir. You most certainly do. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not of the light from your energy field and my energy field and anything in between. Just clearing the space and slowly energy melting with you so I can feel how it is to be in your body and uh, feel the answer as well. Uh, so let me okay. just see here. Okay. I can feel that. Okay. I can feel there's some lower back pain you've been struggling with. Um, but also, the, the shift you've been experiencing the last couple of days, uh, let's see here. You are shifting out, you're going to a void space, you are, there's things that you've been trying to control that you can't control any longer, so you, you feel like you, you're letting go, uh, and you're allowing, unconsciously allowing it to happen now, but there's, the human self is trying to keep control on everything, because that's what it knows to do, it's based on that consciousness. Uh, so it's being challenged. So the old realities are collapsing. Um, so the way things happened before and worked before, it's not those tools you used before, it's not going to work in the new. You cannot take that old consciousness with you. And that's what I'm seeing is happening. You, you tried, but you got put to a, a test where you hit a block and you had, that's why it felt like they were kind of rough at first. And really what it is, is paving the way for the next part of your journey. You have, this is actually honoring you. This is actually an important part of the journey. You have to go through this to, to clear the path to release the toxic, toxic, uh, uh, you know, either conditioning or programming because it doesn't serve you any longer. It will hold you back. So at first to the human self, that's what you're feeling. It's going to feel uncomfortable, but it's not to the soul. You kind of, you're aligning with the soul by letting go of the, the human templates, if that makes sense. I, I wanted to ask that question all day today from somebody, so you answered it very well. And thank you, Lauren, for calling on me. You have a wonderful day, and I appreciate you both. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Linda. Have a great one. Awesome. Okay. Yes, you know, we know we cannot take <laughs> baggage to New Earth, and so... That's why it feels like we cannot even fit into those old shoes, so to speak, right? Figuratively speaking, uh, everything is up for renewal and change and just the news. So awesome. All right, let's go to another caller. This one is in Reading, Pennsylvania. I don't have a name, but you know who you are, area code 610. Hi, Reading, Pennsylvania. What's your name, please? Hi, this is Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Do you have a question for Peter? Absolutely. I've been really working hard on uh, raising my vibration, but I'm still 
struggling with uh, knee and back pain, um, and I will, you know, any anything that'll help me <laughs> get through this. Okay. Let me uh, tune into you. Do I have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Absolutely. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the Ligia and angels. I'm asking them to remove anyone, any wandering spirits, anything that's not a delight. Just clearing the space and slowly uh, energy melting with you so they can connect and, and they can communicate to me what needs to be done. Your higher self is connecting with me here and, and coming from a higher frequency, higher realm. Uh, a part of uh, what you're experiencing uh, and may, one of the many reasons why um, you haven't seen the progress that you from the physical and from the human self would like to see because the human always works in a way that I need to do this and this and this, then this will happen. It's very sectional, very mechanical. Uh, you're now in a place where you have to let go of that. So if the story you're telling yourself, you can keep that past alive if you keep identifying with it, keep saying, you know, this is who I am, this is my story. It's, it's one thing is telling other people, but what you're telling yourself is more important. If you keep telling yourself that, oh, I got this pain, I got this pain, you have to learn to vibrationally bypass that because uh, at first it's not going to happen like a, sh like a, sh a shift. Uh, for most people it's very hard to do that. It's very hard to let go of that identity because you invested so much energy into it um, and time. So it's really about how you talk to yourself, that unconditional love, the not doubting, like not putting yourself down, so to speak, you know, like, you know, think about the good things that's happening. You are unconditional love. You are your higher self. You are Christ consciousness. That's why it's so important that whatever you tell your body, that's what your body's going to align with frequency-wise. Does that make sense? Absolutely. This has been coming to me again and again, and it keeps saying no more story. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, for honoring, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. It creates blockages, so that's what how you heal yeah. it, is that by you shifting, you're changing the story, you have to let go of the past. And at first it's hot because, you know, that's where you're in the identity for so long, you know? Right. Is there something that I can, um, you know, like when I'm experiencing pain, maybe a shift, um, a saying or an affirmation or something that I can, you know, shift that right away? One big one is that expecting and telling yourself on a daily basis you can have a vision board or a little sticky note saying, you know, everything is happening for you, not to you, uh, and expect all things to work out for you. When you're shifting that vibration into this is a part of my ascension, this is a part of my my shifting and, and releasing the old, then it's a very different energy than you feel like you're being put down or you you going backwards, you know, like you're shifting it, you're transmuting it, you're flipping the coin. You're not allowing the same to be manifested again. So, it, it, again, it's about that dialogue, but that's how you can help yourself by creating things in your reality that will remind you to do that till you can hold that yourself and and implement that yourself without even thinking about it. You know, and little by little, you will, it will, it will transcend and it, it will just cease to exist. It's just, at first, it's going to be a little more mechanical, so you have to create a, a little program that actually helps you to deprogram the old program, old program, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Loren. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. All right, we are listening, and we are here with Peter Hansen, who is assisting us with angelic messages on our spiritual path forward and truly helping us raise our vibration and create in this new earth embodied way. We will hear ways that you too can work with Peter. He's got some packages of personal sessions, but for now we're going to go and do a couple more callers. Let's go to, um, let's see, we've got Santa Rosa, California. Looks like Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi. How are you guys today? Awesome. Hello. How are you? Good. Well, great. Um, I have somewhat of a similar question. I've been working on um, living my Christ of human self and becoming my um, my higher self. Uh, but I, what's 
what's happening is I'm waking up a lot at night Mm -hmm. and sometimes not being able to go back to sleep. And I was wondering if you can see why that's happening. Uh, Is it like you can't fall back asleep because your mind is spinning? Is that what happens? Well, my mind moves a little bit. I try to keep it. I try to ground myself. I try, you know, to keep it calm. Um, and, and every time I wake up, it's a little bit different. Okay. Well, let me tune in and uh, see what I, what I can see. Uh, do I have your permission you. to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes, you do. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the Legion of Angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not up to light in the energy fields. Clearing the space. And I want to see the astral plane as well as the wake blue. Um, so what I'm seeing is that you're going through a lot of upgrades. Uh, when you get upgrades, if you compare it to computer, you have to reboot it. So sometimes your higher self or your team are actually waking you up on purpose because you can only handle so much, so, so many gigabytes, and then you have to defrag or you have to, whatever they call it, you know, like reboot. Yeah. Uh, right. So that happened a lot lately, more than normal, because you're going through a big transitioning uh, uh, and a big shift. So... Uh, the more you can allow and know that this is actually happening for you, uh, then you won't resist it so much because otherwise that need to control it and that need, it builds up that anxiety, it builds up that old uh, frequency a little bit that, you know, you're trying to control it and it's, it's, it's not, uh, it's not happening to disturb you, it's actually happening to accelerate you and that's the important mm-hmm. takeaway to take here. So the more you can work with it, the easier it's going to become. So like if you wake up and you can't fall asleep, then use that time to meditate for 15 minutes or listen to binary tones on YouTube or whatever, you know. Do whatever like that serves because then you come into that vibration and you don't allow the mind to jump in and take that moment away because then it's going to slow down the process, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, yes. I was wondering if that was happening. Um, so wonderful to hear that. Because, you know, it's ha- uh, all happening for you, but, you know, you can only have, handle so much at first. And the more downloads you get, the more you expand, so the more light you can hold, so it becomes less and less. And at one point, you will not need as much sleep as, as you will at another point, because there's a part, actually, when you sh- kind of shift from the human into the multidimensional in that void space or in that transitioning period that you need a lot of sleep because that's where we are not in our own way to be allowing, you know, the actual body and the soul to do their work, the guides, everything, you know, without trying to control it, you know, we're not getting in our, in physically in the way. Um, but like you're experiencing right now, you specifically are getting parts of yourself activated and a, a little reboot is, is necessary in between. Um, and the same with dreams, too. If there's any dreams that you, you think that, oh, there's a message here, it's really not. You're just clearing. You're clearing all stuff. So if you see it, it's just because you chose to. And you can always ask your higher self to set the intention that I'd rather not see that. Um, and then that should be honored, you know, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. When I get dreams and stuff becomes, I just say, oh, well, that's interesting, you know, and just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Was that helpful? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank You're you. Welcome. And I love your meditation. Appreciate it. Thank you. You can always listen back mm-hmm. to it. It's going to have the same effect, the light language, everything coming through, you know, like it's going to be just as potent and, and beautiful and powerful. Thank you, thank Lori. You. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You know, Peter, it's like your words uh, resonate with many of us, I'm sure, as you explain what's going on. It feels like many of us are getting downloads. How can we tell when we're getting downloads? Is this ringing in the ears, um, energy drops? What's What are some ways that we can tell when we get downloaded? Well, there is many ways because depending what frequency is being worked on at that time, it could be crystalline codes, which is making your body warm. That's usually early on, the early stages. Then you're coming into the gamma rays and the photonic light, and that actually makes you cold. So you can 
that for two hours you could be in the middle of the day, it could be at night time you wake up freezing to the bone, or, or during the day and you have clothes on, you have blankets on, whatever, you're still cold to the bone. The mm-hmm. same with those situations, you know, the more you can just allow and you learn little by little uh, that this is actually a download, this is happening far more, and you kind of get excited about it because when you know what it is, uh, it is an upgrade and it's a really high frequency. But also, like, um, you can be exposed to really high beings and it kind of, like, almost put you to sleep. So you get really tired. That's another way. And then headaches, it could be as well. Uh, and the ringing by the ears, you said, there's a lot of those the sentence, symptoms, you know, like, in a sense, they are preparing you for the downloads or they are a part of you shifting from one frequency or one dimension into another. That is that you fine-tuning the instrument that you are, like the healing I did. That's kind of what I'm doing as I... I vibrating, I, I um, assist the client or myself, you know, to get into a frequency where you can receive, uh, where you are open to receive these incoming codes. It's, it's so much easier than you. You don't have some, as much uh, interference like the ringing and, and the aches and all that stuff if you do it that way, if you're already in a vibration to receive it. That's what happens when you're not in a vibration to receive it, then you get all the body aches and all kinds of things, you know? <laughs> yes. Okay, so for any of us who wake up in the night and we just be aware, right? Be aware of what's going on and use that time to receive. Wow, interesting. Look at the bigger Mm -hmm. picture. Like, this is actually an opportunity. This is your soul's journey. It's like when you can look at it as, you know, you might be sitting in the middle of the night, the daily chores, the daily life, that's not your life, really. You know, like this, your soul's journey, like you are on your unique um, body embodiment in this lifetime and, and you're kind of taking a look at the whole world from a different perspective. It's like, that's very, very empowering. It's very, like, grand. It's like, it's just, it feels really uh, uh, amazing, you know, when you learn to, to honor that and see it that way. Yes. I have a question for you from your near-death experience. You talked about the elevators with the angels Did you see the grid or have an awareness of our interconnectedness on this planet and upward in that experience? Mm, I did not see, I I saw like a big open land. It was like you were in the clouds, but there was actually a floor, you know, if that makes sense. So so it was like Mm -hmm. another level, another version of Earth, almost like a higher dimension is the fifth and above, you know, like you step into that. Uh, consciousness mm-hmm. and that frequency. Um, so if you look at it a little differently, you know, different perspective, yes, I guess I did because the fifth dimension is all about connectedness and, and, and the grid and, you know what I mean? So like you can look at it from a sacred mm-hmm. geometry or a grid point of view or vibration or frequency and it all comes together to the same. When it's all perfectly aligned and in harmony, then it all, you know, shines and brings up that vibration. And, and, and it, it's a must. It has to be in place for you to reach that frequency. Um, <laughs> I hope that answered your question. Yes, uh, it's amazing. Thank you for sharing. It's just, uh, we just, I'm just so intrigued by that whole process and actually seeing cor- uh, stories being corroborated. So it's fascinating how different it is and diverse each person's experience is, but yet so similar. All right, thank you. Let's go to one more caller. This time we're going to Sierra Vista, Arizona, area code 520. Hi, caller. You're unmuted. What's your name, please? Hi, my name is Christy. Thank you so much for taking my call. Hi, Christy. Oh, hi. Do you hear me? Do you have a question? Yes, go ahead, Christy. We hear you. Um. Yeah, well, I've been working on the clearing and releasing a lot, but I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm stuck. Like, I don't know where life is going, who I'm supposed to be. Okay. Can so, you like, your mission. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, like, your mission and your purpose you're kind of looking for, like, you know, like a little bit lost because mm-hmm. the old value system is not serving you any longer? Yes, that's completely my problem. <laughs> okay, well, let me tune in and see um, what they're coming up with. Um, 
Do I have your permission to energy melt and connect with your higher self? Yes. Thank you. I'm just going to bring in the legion of angels. I'm asking them to remove any wandering spirits, anything that's not of the light, from your energy field and your, your body. And clearing it and slowly energy melting with you, allowing the art changes to come in. It's important, uh, what they're telling you here is that the healing you're doing now is going to affect your future. So it's really, it's again, this very universal, it's a common thing is that we have to look at, we have to shift the direction. The old direction does not work, it's not supported any longer. So trying to fit into the old is not going to, uh, trying to fit into something that's collapsing, it's not going to serve you, it's going uh, it's going to keep you in that chaos. So really, you allowing yourself to look outside uh, of your capsule, in a sense, you know, looking at the bigger picture. Uh, okay. Are you going to let your your soul choose, or are you going to let your human self choose? So, like, you, you are, have a foot in both camps. So it's really like, who am I listening to? Am I listening to the higher version of me, or am I listening to the conditioned self? Uh, you will have a talk of war there. So it's important that you bring both feet into the higher I know that's a little scary, but you, you tried so many times to fix the old, which is unfixable, that you are, there's so much resistance there now that it should be fairly easy for you to try something different. You know what I mean? Like learning to okay. listen and ask yes. yourself, instead of just jumping into the, you know, the recorded answers in a sense, you know, like you just like, hey, wait a minute, I don't need to do that again because it feels worse and worse every time you do it. It's like, wait a minute, see from my perspective. And then when you do that, it actually means that you're not in it any longer. It's just the habits or the routines, that's, the vibration that's vibrating a little bit in the old still that reminds you of it. So by you making the choice of like, you know, I can do that differently. And you have that guidance. You do have, I can feel like you are listening. You're listening, but you're not doing it. Let's put it that way. You're hearing it, but you're not reacting to it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, that makes total sense. Like I just have to <laughs> to jump and know that the net will appear at, after I jump. <laughs> yes, that's when one day I look at it. It's like, like when you're truly done with with the old unfunction, you know, like the one that's collapsing. Then it's it's an easy choice to make, giving yourself permission to take that leap of faith. Like you knowing that something bigger, you know, you you can feel it in the vibration coming in and the light language and the messages that you are getting because you are fairly open. I can feel that. So honoring that and then give that a chance. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Christy. I appreciate you guys so much. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Thank you for your light, sister. Have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. Yeah, it's like, give that a chance. Give peace a chance. Give this feeling a chance. It's beautiful. All right. Well, Peter, thank you so much for uh, sharing and working with those in our audience who had questions for you. It's amazing to watch you work. This really, truly is New Earth Coaching, New Earth Embodiment Coaching, Higher Self Connection, And this changes everything when people work with you. Let's talk about ways that people can work with you. What are your sessions like? And how can it benefit people into truly stepping into new earth? I work with individuals in in individual sessions. And if it's, you know, individual sessions, maybe more more than once, it's really about like uh, that daily day. Uh, adjustment, getting back on track, but we all at some point uh, would benefit from having uh, some stronger guidance where somebody who's been through that journey before actually it's not just a tape, it's not a recording, it's not a uh, whatever seminar, you know, like it's really like it, it's organic, it's like it, it touches up on what's going on in your life that day, that moment, because that's what's bothering you and holding you back at that moment. So that's really important, that hands on one on one. Um, so I help align with the reality of your dreams and create uh, in accordance with that uh, and access your own source of, of universal wisdom by uh, being the teacher and, and guiding, ushering you through those stages. 
Um, so it is very individual. It's very every mentorship I do when I do mentorship, which is a long 12 week, 24 week or longer journey. I have a lot of clients who do the mentorship, and they are so excited about it, and they love that connection because it's like it's so different than what they were used to. That a lot of them continue with me because it it helps them connect and and maintain that connection with that higher realm. You know, like where um, if you finish a course or you finish a mentorship or anything, you know, and you complete it, the human self have a tendency to just back off and stop doing it, you know, like, but it's important that you continue that momentum. Some people are totally capable of doing that themselves and others just like to hang out in those realms and, and learning how it is to be in that abundance where everything you need is is. Uh, provided for you so it's not about money it's really about you being in a frequency where you can receive and you you're operating very differently um, so it is like soul family comes together as well because it's, it's lifelong friendships uh, and soul family connections coming together together again uh, past life uh, soul family as well like like we are as well it's like we had lifetimes together in the past and now we chose to meet up today and in in this lifetime and those connections when they're being kindled you know that's really beautiful and so I'm assisting people in getting past those limitations they were living in before and then showing them at first and then utilizing the gifts and and teaching them how to do it themselves Um, but again many of them continue because then they're so excited and they see how their lives change so much that they want to continue to expand because our journey never stops. It continues to, we continue to evolve. We continue to ascend to higher frequency, higher embodiment, holding more light, and our mission and our purpose and our service accordingly. Um, so, it really, it's like healing. It's 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 uh, talk therapy. It's it's individual plans. You know, like I have a long questionnaire. I have people fill out when they sign up for mentorship. It helps me. You know, understanding what they, you know, what their practices are, what how the way they look at themselves, uh, but also what their goal is, what they would like to experience, what they, you know, would would try to implement in their lives. So that helps me also finding whatever's blocking them from from that, you know. And and when I do, that's when you see those big shifts, you know, and they fully letting go and they get it. It's like it's it, that that's magic. Yes. Absolutely. That's magic. And it's a return to love, a return to the heart. And that journey, it may sound simple, but it's not so easy. And so for those who are ready to receive, ready to own your universal wisdom, to tap into your universal wisdom, and to learn to be in that frequency for abundance, for new earth creations, Peter Hansen is here to assist you. He's a beautiful guide. Obviously, we can see his own growth, his own higher perspective, his elevated fifth dimensional thinking. It's even beyond fifth dimensional in a way. It's very multidimensional. And what a great teacher and what a great guide for those who are ready and really want to make that progress, that personal acceleration at this time we have got a lot of work to do in joy and love in creation from this frequency so if peter can help you raise your frequency check out his special offer there are two options one is for a single session of 60 minutes and then there's a bundle of three so tell us why the three? I love the three because it's a trinity, it's a trine, but this allows one to go very deep and actually to see some significant results. It does. It's like it's a great lead into if if you do decide to do a mentorship or something, but you don't have to. But it's like it's just to see the because I, I when I do the the three packs I, I encourage people to do it like once a week for three weeks and then they will see instant uh, results you know and then it is like a kickstarter in a sense you know like uh, we continue we're showing ourselves that you know with a little effort and a little commitment then you can actually 
make huge life changes. So that's kind of what that, you know, people need different things at these different times. I have some very high vibrational people who come to me too who's doing sessions with me because they, they allow themselves to reflect, they allow themselves to fully own those gifts, you know, like, so it, it's really about uh, whoever is, is, is looking at this or, or looking at in either individual sessions or the three pack is that learning to listen to, to what your inner guidance is telling you, what you resonate with, you know, am I, am I worth it, you know, like, uh, what, what do you want, you know, when you want to change your world, when you want to change the world, it's either important to you or it's not, so how long do you want to wait, you know, like, uh, and it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be me necessarily, it could be anyone else, you know, there's many of us and we are all important and we all have a purpose and all have unique qualities and we, there's really no competition. Uh, it's really about following that feeling, that inner guidance, the frequency that feels like that's the person I want to work with. Don't let the mind get in there, like follow that feeling because that will not uh, get you astray. Yes, beautiful. And now, what a beautiful time on our planet for us to listen to this inner guidance, to tune into it, because there's so much out there that could cause us to seek outside advice or to check in with other people, like, what about this? What do you do? And it's confusing because we're seeing so many people with different opinions. So, you know, when we muscle test ourselves. That's our body giving us the answer. And we have this inner wisdom within us. We just need to listen and to follow it. So thank you, Peter, for being of such beautiful service on our planet where people get to simply tune in in this way. It really is what you are meant to do. You are here being exactly what you're meant to do, living on purpose for you. And isn't it fascinating that, as you mentioned, that's where we're all going to be as we do this work within ourselves. We assist others in getting there and seeing that light. So, Peter, when you look at our world and this ascension process, we're going to go back to where we began our conversation Do you see a particular timeline or a beautiful world? Can you describe that that shift when a majority makes it happen? What do you see in terms of maybe a timeline or what that would look like? Okay. I see in the near future, like in the next month or two, there's going to be big shift happening, big collapses of the old. Uh, and it's not going to be the way we expect. Uh, they're not really showing me uh, all the details because it's, a lot of it is happening behind the scenes. So there's like big structures that it's not going to serve the human ascension or the collapse if if humanity knows too much. But there will be plenty of disclosure. It's not like that. It's really like there's a good balance with that. But what really happens is that is that empowerment within each one of us is that it's shifting from like you kind of mentioned it before, it's like, you know, people looking for the signals or the guidance on the outside for the, the GPS or whatever, you know, like, and, and then shifting that perspective to within, uh, you know, yes. gaining access to that, starting to trust that again, starting to, like, not just blindly following the crowd and, and doing what you're told to do, because you there's that feeling within when you start to embody your higher self and, and expand and awaken that you can't lie to yourself any longer. So it's you reach a point where you're like, no, no, that's not okay because you you're not just a you know guinea pig, you know, and then you're not just a product of the environment or a disposable. No, you actually you are the creator. So when you start shifting into that, and that's what I'm trying to get at is that you know you're going to see these big shifts in the outside, but it's reflecting what's going on within. It is a reflection of that inner shift within. And that is interesting because a lot of the questions today was like of the dream state and the downloads and so forth. That is preparing the ones who's awakening right now for that. So it's, it's, you know, without being interfering with it in the dream state, starting to getting these downloads, getting the crystalline codes, the photonic light codes, getting all these incoming 
uh, codes and, and waves of energy that accelerating the process and it, it's activating the, the light body within each one of us. So it brings us into a vibration as the collective where we're not stopping, we're not blocking, we're not uh, trying to hold on to that old reality any longer where before we did. We we're kind of programmed to do that, like the Stockholm Syndrome, you know, like we were protecting the, the capture, you know, like that we are now shifting out of. Uh, and that's why it's going to happen very rapidly. So I see, I, what I'm seeing is the next couple of months going to be some big shifts. Then it's going to mellow out for a little bit. Um, and then it's going to start going much more up. I mean, it's not like uphill. It's much more like vibrationally, it's just going to shift. Like, feel like it's going to, humanity is going to like, it's, it looks like it's going to spread out, but it's really, uh, it's like we, everybody's starting to individually uh, honoring their journey. And that journey is in unity. So it's like you have to do your own journey to create that sacred union within before you can join the collective uh, as a unified field. So we do have to allow that space. We have to allow that uh, inner uh, honoring our higher self and getting to know our higher self, have that solitude, bring that alone time. So I see like a huge need for uh, healers, which I see in the collective right now, there's many of us. There's many, 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 many more than there were before. And we're all preparing for these big waves. We're all preparing to be assistants. And when we are in that uh, place and space of being at service, we don't, we just open with open arms, just invited in because we know it's perfectly balanced, it's perfectly prepared, you know, and there's no, uh, there's no wrong in that, you know, like it's the way it's supposed to be. And, and we are part of this ascension journey. So, we, we actually volunteered for this. So that's what I'm seeing is that there will be a couple little rocky roads, but then it's going to spread out and people are going to do their own thing. And then that collective consciousness that in the news and media has been dictating how everybody's supposed to feel, it will lose its value, it will lose its, its voice in a sense. And people will just do their own thing for a little while and then there will be a new uh, mm. collective everything. That's beautiful. Yes. I love that. And I think as long as all of us hold our vision for New Earth, that transition will be smoother. I love it, though, as it's the individual journey that yet all comes into unity consciousness. Beautiful. I can feel that. Can't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and it's so beautiful, and then when you see that happening in people's lives, it's just, it warms your heart, and it's like, you know, that's why we're here, this is what we came here to do, and it's just magical. So don't hold on to the old reality, get wildly creative for new earth, <laughs> and if Peter Hansen can help you, and Archangel Gabriel, and the great beings in his higher self that he gets in assisting us, then please check out his special offer and get a session with Peter. So incredibly beautiful as we build new earth. We have not created it yet. We can see the beautiful opportunities for this great change. And we know in each of our hearts, it truly is why we showed up on this planet. We are in it now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Peter Hansen, for this quantum conversation. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have you back again to uh, learn more on this beautiful frequency that we can always tap into as we get stronger and stronger. Thanks so much, Peter. Have a beautiful day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Again, if you would like to check out Peter's special offer. It is here on this webpage and awaiting you. So we are now going to close our session as we do by dancing our way to the cosmic heart. Hold this frequency. Remember to come back to this session and feel that healing sound session that Peter offered all of us because we can connect at any moment and we will always be centered in the heart. So thank you as we dance our way to the cosmic heart.
Thank you for listening to this quantum conversation and thank you for dancing with us to the cosmic heart. As we raise our own vibration, we raise the vibration of the planet. This show is dedicated to you and all awakening hearts as we are here to shine our bright light and amplify our love. Access all quantum conversations, special offers from our guests, and online healing retreats by visiting AcousticHealth.com. I'm Loren Gailey, and from my sacred heart to yours, I honor your magnificent love and light. We leave you now with music from the universe. Music literally created by the universe as musical notes were assigned to mathematical equations. The result is this beautiful music available at AcousticHealth.com. Namaste. Thank you.